a couple rows sewn together here, and this seam is pressed, and this seam was just freshly sewn, and I'm going to press it. So with sewing rows together, I make sure to press my seams open. So let's zoom in here. So you can see that these are pressed to the side when I was sewing my triangles together, but when I'm sewing my rows together, I'm pressing open, and that's because I have some bulky areas, and I want these seams to get really good and flat. But you know what I use to get them good and flat? Da -da -da -da, my tailor's clapper. So I'm gonna show you how to use steam and a tailor's clapper to get your finished rows so crisp and flat. Do you see how flat that is? And it's really, really nice. It's, it's gonna make my quilting go so much easier. So I have my rows flipped. You can see this is the front and this is the back. And here is my pressed seam and here is my unpressed seam. So first, I'm just gonna go through with a dry iron. And my iron that I'm using for this demo is not fancy. It's um, maybe a $60 iron. I got a Joann's, it's a Singer. And I'm just going to, without melting my tripod stand, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna first, you can see, finger press it open. And then with my dry iron, just very slowly press it open. And sometimes I have to give it a little tug, just like this, so I'm not pressing pleats or gaps into it and I know it's gonna be nice and flat. And this is a, a kind of a tedious process, but unfortunately it cannot be rushed. This is kind of an important thing if you wanna have a really nice quilted quilt in the end. A lot of people have trouble with um, puckers in the quilting process, and it's really a bummer if that's the case because it, it probably could have been prevented with a nice flat pressing. Okay, so once I get this open, some people would just leave it like this, and this is the end of it. And this is as, as flat as they think it can get, but that's not the case. So I'm gonna flip this over and show you how to use a tailor's clapper. Okay, so now that I know my seam is pressed open, I'm going to finish that seam uh, so it gets really nice and flat. So I just use a spray bottle full of water, and if you have steam in your iron, you can also use that. I first just press my iron. Now I have my iron set on a linen setting because this is a chambray linen quilt and uh, I know it can handle some high heat. So if you're working with different substrates, make sure that you're changing the setting on your iron. Okay, without telling you exactly what I was doing, I squirted with steam and then I pressed my iron down and then I let the seam cool underneath my tailor's clapper. And I'm not putting a lot of pressure on it, but I am putting some pressure on it. I'm pressing it so that it's gonna be really nice and flat. And now I'm doing that one last time. So this does add time to your process. This is going to make your process slower, but it is gonna make your seams so crisp. And so now I just kind of go over some of those other areas. And you can even see if I were to flip this, flip this over. I mean, the seam is just so crisp. Here, let me flip it over again. And I can even, I can even crumple it up. I, I have a pretty janky ironing cover. Oh, you can hear my baby waking up from a nap. Um, I can even crumple it up. I can even fold it up and send it in the mail to a long arm quilter. And this seam is going to stay pressed because of how we used our Taylor's clapper. It's pretty awesome, really. I mean, once you use it once, it's in there. So, you know, a lot of garment sewers have been using this for a long time to securely get pleats into clothing. And it's just a great tool and a great technique, especially when it comes to your rows.